What is going on everybody? My name is Pete and you guys are watching Pay to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs coming at you once again with another brand new video. Hope you're all doing great out there. So ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, if you wouldn't mind, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. Leave a comment right now saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And let's jump to the email, Triple Lindy, Thornton Mellon style. <clears throat> so this comes from our buddy, Tom. You guys know Tom, uh, the one that uh, came up with that DoorDash uh, concept for a new pay model. So he goes, Pete, I had gone to a ghost kitchen the other night and was told by an another driver had picked up the order on Grubhub. Mm, here we go. So I had to call Grubhub to report the driver. Tonight, I had an order from a local pizza chain and arrived at 1.20 a.m. So this guy works late. This guy told me it had already been picked up and I let the guy know that the order was stolen. I called the customer to let her know what was going on and she wanted them to remake the order. The restaurant had over 30 minutes to remake the order, but the guy refused. I asked for the manager and he said that he was the manager and that and then he slammed the sliding window shut. Don't you love that when you're like, I want to speak to the manager. I am your manager, B. You guys remember that from Chappelle's show? That, did anybody watch Chappelle's show? Or am I the only one here? Come on. If you guys know Chappelle's show, you know who I'm talking about. The guy Scarface? No? All right. Never mind. So he slammed the sliding window shut. <laughs> Mind you, this is a drive-up pizza place, which I've never seen either. I've never seen a pizza place with a pickup window, uh, other than like Pizza Hut. This was my first and only encounter with a very rude employee that happened to be a manager. I was trying my best to help out the customer as she had expressed to me that she and her roommate were very hungry. This was an $18 order and it was not going very far at all. Thankfully, I was able to get a $13 cancellation fee somehow on Uber, which is odd because uh, odd since they usually only offer a couple of bucks. There was another issue that I have to point out with Grubhub as well. I went to Burger King for a pickup and it took me 20 minutes to get there and another 20 minutes in line. By the time I got to the window, the guy said they could not make the sandwich. When I called Grubhub support to ask for the cancellation fee, they only offered me a dollar and some change, a buck 75. For all delivery apps, there should be a bare minimum cancellation fee of $4 plus some wait time. Sadly, on Uber Eats, they only give you $3 even if you're picking up two orders. So I guess if it's stacked, in my experience, DoorDash is by far the busiest and best paying app. Uh, the offers are nonstop and the average delivery is under five miles. Uber Eats, on the other hand, pays up to 120 per mile, while DoorDash is always around $2 per mile. Tom. So this was a very uh, loaded email here with lots of different situations going on. But <clears throat> again, you know, these, these issues, like I said, were not we're not even heard of years ago. Okay. Like when I first started in 2017, 2018, 2019, it really wasn't until the pandemic that started in 2020 when this stuff really started becoming more apparent. It started happening more often where orders getting canceled and reassigned and, you know, angry people working at these restaurants, because you got to mention, you know, something else here, Tom, is that a lot of restaurants right now, just a lot of businesses in general are short staffed. They are, you know, overwhelmed. They're just upset right now and they're dealing with so much, uh, you know, and, and again, it's like the customers aren't stopping, but the amount of people that work at these places is stopping. That's the problem here too. Um, so yeah, I mean, literally the subject of this was food theft two days in a row, three in the last two months. I mean, this stuff wasn't happening when I first started. Like I said, you know, like where you would go to a restaurant, they're like, oh yeah, it was already picked up. I want to say that only maybe happened once or twice, you know, in the early days. And it just, it's unbelievable, man. I got to say, I remember the first time it happened was at a sushi place for Uber Eats. I walked in, they said, oh, somebody already picked that up. But they didn't know if it was a driver or if it was the customer. Someone just came in asking for that order and there it was. So I had to, I had to cancel it. But um, 
What do you guys think? Let me know in the chat or the comments down below what you guys think about what Tom was saying here. Can you relate? Which app do you feel pays the best for cancellation? He's going with DoorDash, you know? Uh, I think it's nice though that Grubhub is at least giving something because they used to give you nothing at all. Uh, and I gotta say, I'm extremely lucky in my market that I don't have to deal with that too often. But yeah, I mean, hey, you know, a dollar is something, it's not great. But it just sucks that he had to waste 40 minutes to get $1.75. Like, that's just, that's ridiculous. But anyways, drivers, let me know your thoughts down below in the chat or the comments. If you guys ever have a comment, a question, a topic, a story, anything for me, put it down below. No, well, you can put it down below, but send me an email. Pay to drive stories at gmail.com is the best place to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you guys can message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link's in the description or the pin top comment. Just scroll down the page and check it out. Anyone who signs up as a patron is my way of saying thank you as I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So I'm gonna do that right now. When you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. And uh, here we go. We got Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hinor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Best, Jenny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of you out there. If you guys want to check it out, links down below. Like I said, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be you. Let's find out. And with that being said, everybody, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money with your gas on the free gas app called Get Upside. If you want to jump on there, it's very simple. Scroll down this page, look in the description where it says Get the Free Gas app. Click on that link. It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone or device you have. And then what you do from that point is uh, you go uh, and go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside, links in the description. Make sure to download it today, everybody. And of course, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, you guys should know where to go. PaidToDriveStore.com is the place for you, my friends. That's right. Uh, we have lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies. PaidToDriveStore.com. Sorry. All right. If you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment right now saying END329, END329. Just lets me know you made it to the end. Don't forget to subscribe down below with all notifications turned on. And if you wouldn't mind, Hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So with that being said, everybody, uh, until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everyone. Later.